Hey guys! Alright, I'm gonna do this blinking Maltinas challenge thing first before anyone walks in. Ugh, I had to spit them all out. I think I might have massively overestimated how much I could fit in my mouth. So I'm sorry I look super gross today. I just got in from a long day of hanging out with you guys. Today we went to Chessington and it was really, really fun and I enjoyed it a lot. But yeah, now I'm filming in the kitchen because Nikki and Rachel are in our room watching Silver Lines Playbook, which I really want to watch. But they've already started it, so whatever. I'm just really paranoid that someone's gonna walk in in a minute. Which is why I did the Maltese challenge first. Can I just point out? Becky only told you about the UPF vlog because I texted her saying, by the way, you guys didn't do a vlog yesterday. It's not like she suddenly realised. But it's okay, you know, everyone makes mistakes. I mean, now you're going to be punished, but but it was an honest mistake, so I won't be mean. Also, I could never be mean anyway because I... I don't think mean punishments are funny. I think they're just mean. I have a couple of ideas. I'm going to run them by Rachel and Nikki, I think. I'm so excited for you driving. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I was really, really terrified at first, but honestly... Like, you're sensible, you don't laugh when I say that. You have pretty good reflexes, like, <laughs> it'll be fine, I promise. Okay, this is the bit in the video where I'm gonna put the headstand, uh, if I can manage to film it. your eight vlogs obviously I watch most of your vlogs um I just like when I check my actual subscription box which I don't do that often and yeah I really like them it just it makes me sad to watch them because I'm like I miss you guys and I want to hang out more with you guys you guys look like you're having so much fun all the time you yeah, know it's really good I really like the intro I would obviously love to come to your choir thing like like for definite yes it's really easy to get to so yes please, yes so today I challenge you because you told me that uh Thursdays are the days when most of your favorite like bloggers or whatever that upload their vlogs. I don't really watch very many YouTube channels anymore, so if you could give me like your three favourite YouTube channels that you are subscribed to, that would be good. <laughs> Just like what they are, like why you like them, whatever. It can be as detailed or not detailed as you want. If you both want to do a list, that's fine too. Although if you're too lazy, I understand. Obviously because my whole thing is I don't follow that many YouTubers, kind of hard for me to do this one, but I'll, I'll give it a go. First, uh, Geek and Sundry. I'm not sure if you'd like them, um, but it's run by Felicia Day, who's the, the person who's in Supernatural a couple of times, who I really, 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 really like. I say Supernatural because I think the only thing you've seen her in, but I love her. Yeah, Felicia Day runs it, and there's like a bunch of different shows in it. So like, my favourite one was The Flog, but that's finished now. But she's got loads of different ones. There's Written by a Kid, which is really funny. There's The Guild, which is a web series that's really, really good. There's a bunch of new shows premiering this season. Pretty much everything is about vaguely nerdy things. Speak. Number two is one that I just subscribed to recently called Mental Floss Video. They're really, really good. It's a weekly show hosted by John Green. It's just, it's just really interesting. Uh, they do like lists of things and just really interesting facts and stuff. So I'd recommend that. I was thinking about third place. I was like, there's some competition because I wanted to say Ochre Vlogs, but obviously you already subscribed to those. But you know, anyone else watching this for some reason, I don't know why anyone else would, but if anyone else is watching this, Ochre Vlogs is great. Or I was like, Julia Noons' channel? I really really love her, she's literally my favourite musician of all time. But then I was like, you've listened to some Julie Moons, I don't know how you feel about her, but it wouldn't be me introducing you to anything. So in fact, the third one, I don't know if you already watch her videos or whatever, uh, by heart. She's really really funny and clever. She does maths related videos, um, but it's like maths games and like little maths doodles and like really interesting things, like Mobius strips and um, uh, just really really beautiful things about maths. Like you know how much I hate maths. She just does the interesting parts of maths, so it's great. Sorry if you already watch any of these, but preferably not like obvious ones that you know I already watch, like blood or whatever. I don't have a flower in my hair today because I got in and I took it out because my hair was wet. So now it's going to be the first vlog without a flower in my hair. And my head looks so unbalanced. Also, I saw your car in the vlog and I was like, ah, oh. it looks really nice and jealous. Also, I live in London, so I don't need a car, so I'm jealous. I have a punishment for you. Did ask Nikki and Rachel what they thought your punishments should be? Rachel said to emulate that scene in Game of Thrones where, to lack of spoilers, a guy pours molten gold over another guy's head and kills him, which I'm not going to do. Nikki suggested that you give me your car. 
Also another punishment that I'm not going to set you guys. <laughs> Learn and perform the hoedown throwdown. I don't want to take a risk with like copyrighted music. So looks like you might have to make a backing track of you guys singing the hoedown throwdown. Or just sing it while you're doing it, either way. There has to be some kind of music behind it. So yeah, learn and perform the hoedown throwdown, both of you. Like yeah, you don't have to do it like for this week's video. Preferably next week's, but you know, if you don't have time or whatever, I'm flexible. So that is all, it was really good seeing you, although I probably won't be able to leave the house again for another three weeks or so, because I am revising like crazy for exams. I really shouldn't have taken today out, but um, I did. So now I have to work for about a million years. Yeah because exams are the worst and I hate everything. See you on Monday.